going to have a slightly different town hall tonight. It is a very merry Christmas edition of the show as we focus on some holiday topics this Christmas Eve. So let's start here. Since it is Christmas Eve, we wanted to start out by spreading some holiday cheer. Thanks to the time difference around the world, Santa's journey has already begun. We've got a live look right now at his progress, delivering presents to all the good girls and boys all over the world. Right now, he's in France. He's being tracked by NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command. And this is a tradition that's been going on now for 65 years. And there's a great story behind how it all got started. We're going to get into that in a second, but first, while this particular mission is entirely fun, NORAD is doing serious work all day, every day. And I chatted with NORAD's deputy commander for the continental U.S. about that today. No, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us to actually uh, explain to uh, Americans and Canadians exactly what NORAD does. And, and what we're responsible for is the aerospace warning, aerospace defense and maritime warning for all of North America. And we do that with a system of satellites, uh, a radar chain up in the north, radars in the uh, United States and Canada, and, uh, and fighter jets and all the supporting jets and people that are required to actually do that, uh, that big job. Let's bring that live tracker back up. Santa is making great progress already as he makes his way around the globe, hitting midnight in each time zone as he goes. So as we track him, we wanted to share another fun tidbit about how the NORAD tracking all got started. Believe it or not, it began with a kid innocently making a phone call to Santa. And this is something that has such a great history, 65 years. And one of the things I love the most about it is that it all started with a wrong phone number. <laughs> it sure did. It sure did. In 1953, Colonel Harry Shoup, uh, who was the, uh, the duty officer, in fact, on, uh, on that fateful day, received a phone call from a child looking to caucus Santa Claus. And, and the child had called the phone number that had been uh, misprinted uh, for the, the Sears call Santa number. And so when uh, Colonel Shoup got the, uh, the call from the child, he realized that he was actually trying to talk to Santa Claus. So quickly, you know, took on the, uh, the persona of Santa, uh, talked to the child and realized that that probably wasn't the only phone call they were going to get that day. And so he got his team together and they all, they all, you know, got the Christmas spirit in them and they were ready to answer the phone calls. And in fact, they were ready to track Santa that, that same night. And it's been a tradition that's been ongoing ever since. So just about six and a half hours until Santa and the reindeer arrive here in Western New York. If you want to track him for yourself over the next few hours, you can do that right now at NORADSanta.org.